qualitative analysis of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are large biological molecules consisting of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen atoms having the general formula of CMH2O enzymes. Carbohydrates are one of the important nutrients present in our food. During the process of photosynthesis, carbohydrates are produced from carbon dioxide and water in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight. Glucose, lactose, sucrose and starch are commonly known carbohydrates. Our aim here is to learn how to conduct a few simple tests to analyze the properties and reactions of four common carbohydrates glucose, lactose, sucrose and starch. The tests are solubility test, Molish's test, Feeling's test, Benedict's test, Tollin's test, iodine test. Materials required Glucose, Lactose, sucrose, starch, distilled water, aqueous solutions of glucose, lactose, sucrose, suspension of starch, Molish's reagent, concentrated sulfuric acid, feeling solution A, feeling solution B, Benedict's reagent, Tollin's reagent, iodine solution, test tubes, droppers and water bath. Solubility test Take small amounts of glucose, lactose, sucrose and starch in four test tubes A, B, C and D respectively. Now add a small volume of distilled water to the test tubes containing glucose, lactose, sucrose and starch. Shake each test tube well. We can see that glucose, lactose and sucrose are soluble in water, whereas starch is insoluble in water. Molish's test Take a small quantity of aqueous solutions of glucose, lactose, sucrose and suspension of starch in four test tubes A, B, C and D respectively. Using a dropper, add a few drops of Molish's reagent to the test tubes A, B, C and D. Take the test tube A and pour a small amount of concentrated sulfuric acid slowly along the side of the test tube. Similarly, pour concentrated sulfuric acid to the other test tubes B, C and D. Concentrated sulfuric acid dehydrates carbohydrates to form furfuraldehyde or its derivative which further reacts with alpha naphthol present in the Molish's reagent to form a colored product that appears as a purple ring at the interface between the acid layer and the test layer. Feelings test Take a small quantity of aqueous solution of glucose, lactose, sucrose and suspension of starch in four test tubes A, B, C and D respectively. Using a dropper, add a small quantity of feeling solution A into test tubes A, B, C and D. Now, using another dropper, add a small quantity of feeling solution B into the test tubes A, B, C and D. Heat the test tubes in a boiling water bath for some time. The reducing sugars, glucose and lactose reduce the copper to ions in the test reagent to form red precipitate of cuprous oxide whereas no such precipitate is formed from the non-reducing sugars, sucrose and starch. Benedict's test Take a small quantity of aqueous solutions of glucose, lactose, sucrose and suspension of starch in four test tubes A, B, C and D respectively. Using a dropper, add a small quantity of Benedict's reagent into the test tubes A, B, C and D. Heat the test tubes in a boiling water bath for some time. The reducing sugars, glucose and lactose, reduce the copper to ions in the test reagent to form red precipitate of cuprous oxide, whereas no such precipitate is formed from the non-reducing sugars, sucrose and starch. Tollens test 
take a small quantity of aqueous solutions of glucose, lactose, sucrose and suspension of starch in four test tubes A, B, C and D respectively. Using a dropper, add a small quantity of Tollens reagent into the test tubes A, B, C and D. Heat the test tubes in a boiling water bath for some time. The reducing sugars glucose and lactose reduce silver ions in the test reagent to elemental silver, appearing as a silver mirror on the inner surface of the vessel. No such silver mirror is produced by non-reducing sugars, sucrose and starch. Iodine test Take a small quantity of aqueous solutions of glucose, lactose, sucrose and suspension of starch in four test tubes A, B, C and D respectively. Using a dropper, add a few drops of iodine solution into the test tubes A, B, C and D. Iodine reacts with starch to form a blue-coloured starch iodine complex, whereas no such complex is formed by other samples.